first of all, I, I thought it was a very dangerous tournament because I thought there's a lot of teams very capable from uh, Michigan to Pepperdine to Coastal Carolina, teams that have traditionally been strong and, and maybe not all, gotten off to the, the kind of start they wanted to this year, nonetheless very, very dangerous. And, and you throw in Northwestern hosting and, and, and a, a much improved Purdue team and uh, and obviously Arkansas and UCLA to the top teams in the country. And I just felt it was a very, very dangerous field. I felt we really needed to be on top of things uh, in this event, in this tournament. And, uh, you know, again, it was a little carryover from uh, Firestone where I, I felt that for the most part uh, we fought hard as a team. We competed from start to finish. We didn't let anything situationally get in our way or bother us too much. And, and uh, you know, I'm really, really proud of how we competed. And, uh, you know, at the end, when you add up the numbers, which we have to do in our sport, uh, obviously we tied a, a really, really solid UCLA team for second. Just four shots behind Arkansas, and Arkansas has been on fire this year so far. So. Now we're kind of scratching our heads, wondering what we could have done a little bit better to win that event. But you know, you really can't worry about that in our sport. All you can worry about is yourself and what we call controlling the controllables. And I thought we did a, a great job of that. Well, we talked about depth all year, when that's something we've been talking about in, in our roster. And when you throw Corey Zadonis in that tournament as the individual, and he finishes 33 or so in that kind of field, it shows you what kind of depth we have. But uh, Back to those three players, Chase Wright. I mean, the young man has uh, turned the corner a little bit, and uh, I mean, obviously a great player anyway. But uh, wow, he really got himself in control of what he's doing out there. He he understands his abilities, and he understands his golf game, and he, he understands what to do and when to do it. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's tough in our sport to stay on top. You know, it's, there's going to be ups and flows. It's going to be ups and downs, but uh, right now Chase Wright has figured out a way to stay on top for a, a long time now, and uh, it was a solid finish. It's a solid performance. Brant Peeper, you know, he got off to a good start first round, and he kind of struggled in and, and shot what was still a nice 72, and we got, oh no, here we go again. Brant's not been able to finish his rounds off, and, but 65 second round, huge for Brant, huge for the team. Uh, just a statement for him to make and a statement for, for his teammates to hear and, and see. And then uh, the last round was okay too. Tough conditions last round. Bogey the last hole, kind of unfortunate bogey on a hole he could have birdied. Uh, but but a, a solid performance from Brandt. And uh, David Mills, once again, you know, back to back great efforts from David Mills. Just again, he's just not afraid. He's not afraid to play. He's not afraid to make putts. He's not afraid of anything. And that young man's not. And, uh, as we talked about, if we have three performances like that, uh, you know, we're going to be a pretty good team. And as I mentioned, Corey Zanonis went there as an individual uh, and, and did a solid job. And Andrew Falk, we got to talk about him a little bit. There's a freshman who, you know, he's very, very impressive. That's his third top 30, third 30 or so finish in a row. Just solid. And he seems to finish each round with birdies or better. And, you know, uh, I, there's a bright future ahead for him, and uh, uh, we're really thrilled with what we see so far in uh, that young man. Uh, David Erdy got back in the lineup after three weeks off because of his appendectomy, and there was some uh, uh, rust as we thought there would be. Uh, he wasn't on top of his game. Uh, it, it was a little bit of a struggle for David that event, uh, but uh, he, he'd got the skills, he'd got the quality, he'd got the mindset. Uh, He'll be back at Isleworth. He'll be ready to go. Well, a difficult field is understatement uh, for, for Isleworth. Uh, probably, I haven't really analyzed it that much yet, maybe the best field in college golf uh, this year. And, uh, you know, it's a golf course that we know a little bit. It's a golf course extremely difficult, which I think fits my team. But when you get that kind of quality field with, I don't know how many teams in the top 10 and top 20, and if you go, don't go down there and compete to your ability, you're going to get your butts handed to you. So we need to be ready to go down there and compete to our ability and do what we can do 
on the golf course, just like we've done the last two tournaments. Where we finish, if we do that, I don't know. You know, that's I can't control what those other teams can do, and there's some pretty damn good players and damn good teams. But it's a great opportunity for our program to go play against the best in the country once again. It's a great opportunity for our student athletes and for our university. And that's what we'll go do. We'll do the best job we can playing against the best teams in the country.